After bedding most of the men at Holby over the last seven years, it's fair to say that Sister Chrissy Williams has done the rounds. <laughs> However, after a string of secret affairs, Chrissy was sure she'd met the one. Until this happened last week. So you thought you'd stitch him up good and proper? Well, Liz, sorry, I, don't you think that you're uh, going a little bit overboard here? I mean, I know that he's your ex. Overboard? And... You think this is overboard? You haven't even seen overboard. And yes, he is an ex and a friend. A friend that trusted you. A friend that keeps trying to get into my girlfriend's pants. What? Come on, I've seen you too. You are crazy. What, are you going to deny it? So this is what this is all about? I've seen him with you. I'm out of here. Chrissy! No, okay, I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. No, you shouldn't have. Chris! Chrissy! Oh, and you've no idea how bad it's going to get. <laughs> and uh, Tina joins us now. We, we've struggled all day because you must be the only person, I reckon, in the business whose name actually almost matches the show that she's in. I know. Hobbly Holby. There it's caused cool, cool problems all morning. Yeah, I like to call it Hobbly City. Hobbly I City, think so, that's yes. what it is. <laughs> yes. Um, because it is revolving around you at the moment. At the moment. Now, yeah. of course, we thought that, uh, that Stuart, Stuart McElroy, was going to be the man of your dreams. You'd spent course. Christmas together, it was all working out very yes. nicely. And he's great, isn't he? I mean, you wouldn't think butter wouldn't melt. But tonight, it escalates into this terrible situation, which is a, a two parter. So next week's the same. Day, yeah. So you must watch next week as well. Mm. Um, where obviously they have this awful row. He turns up on the ward, drunk. Yes. She knows nothing about this because he has a alcoholic. terrible drink problem. He has a really bad drink problem, which the audience have known about, but obviously Chrissy mm. hasn't. So he, uh, she tries to get him off the off off the ward and then obviously out of the hospital. So they're trapped sort of in theatre. They have this awful fight. He sort of forces her to say that it's over. She does say it's over, and it's quite nasty, and then he picks up something and leaves his mark. We've got a bit a of, of a of violence. Yes, a bit of a it clip is quite violent, actually, yeah. which, um, which will illustrate what you've just been saying. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Chrissy, I can be your perfect man for it's you. It's too late. Starting right now. No. Then just tell me what you want me to do. I don't want you to do anything. OK, you're not my responsibility. Please, Chrissy. Do you know, when I think about Sam... Oh, here we go, back to Sam. When I think about how he coped with the cancer, and I think about how you behaved. All hail the almighty you Sam. You are just a pathetic, weak man. But I love you. Well, I am so sorry, but I don't love you. Oh. And that's where... The trigger. <laughs> that's it's it. Awful. It's all the blue yeah. touch paper is lit. Yes. So he ends up... Giving you the scalpel, he does. He the scalpel her, and because he's drunk, he then decides he's going to stitch you up. I know, which is the. I mean, next week is, and even to film, even as the actress, it was quite frightening because having someone come at you, even though you know there's no blade in it, to, towards your face is quite daunting. And then to be gagged, and cause he's, he's, he turns into a psychopath next week. I mean, you almost could forgive him this week in a way. It was a terrible accident, but what what happens is he makes it ten times worse. Mm by sort of locking the theatre, trying to sort of capture her and then stitching it up oh. and gagging her and, you know, and then lying. Then it escalates into something else where yeah. he he tries to get her admitted that it, she's into self-harm and all this sort of oh. stuff. So it gets You've very dark. You've been waiting for ages for black. a storyline. Yes, like this, I have. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> but of course it comes at a time when you discover you're pregnant in real life. I know. So during yeah. those scenes, yes. quite active and violent, did you tell anybody in the crew that actually I'm just early weeks of pregnancy? I, yeah, I was just over three months. I didn't tell anyone apart from um, Connor, who plays Stuart. Really? I told him on the day, poor love. Uh, and actually, his wife was pregnant at home. She was about three months ahead of me. So he had me at work and his <laughs> wife at home. Fine. I said, I haven't told anyone because I know they'll try and stop it or make it less violent. So I wanted to really go for it. So I didn't tell anyone because I didn't. Well, poor this. guy. What was he thinking in that case? The responsibility <laughs> was huge. Yeah. He's and you said as you watched as you watched it back, you said, "Oh, he's lovely." He's so yes. nice, and I miss him terribly. Aww. Yeah, he's great. Really, the perfect actor to work with. So, um, without giving too much away, does he leave the series? Well, he has to. He has to yeah. cart it off, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, you have just left the series have, to have yeah. this little bump. Yes. How many weeks have you got to go? Nine weeks to go. Oh, and when did you yes. leave? Uh, just after Christmas. I did a bit, little bit more in January, and I finished. So you're only out for a, you've only been out for a couple of weeks. Yes. So are you busy nesting at home now? Uh, school run, 
pancake day at school this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I've got some good tips in a minute. Oh, we'll do. You can have a couple of hours can to take home with you if you like. Great. We'll put them in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it's Bella, isn't it, Bella, your, yes. your little girl? How yeah. old is she now? Eight. No. Yes. Golly. She's nearly nine when the baby comes. So is she looking forward to the baby? Ready made, Mummy. You have the baby. Hand it straight to me, Mummy. So, really? Yes. really practicing with nappies and everything. Her doll, yeah. Oh. She, seen a she saw a, sc a scan, she didn't did, she? Yeah. How did she react to that? She was really emotional, which is everything they shock you, don't they, every day. You don't know how they're going to react to anything. But this, I mean, you know, she just burst out, just about burst out crying. Oh. She was overwhelmed, I think. Do you know what you're having? No. <gasps> Good. No, it's I a don't better know. excitement, don't isn't mind. it? So it doesn't really matter. And no. how are you coping, other than the school run, and obviously, you know, as so a being mum, mm -hmm. how are you coping with the time off work? Uh, I'm having lots of lunches, yeah. <laughs> it's catching up with a lot of friends, because it's been sort of seven years, so I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah, seven years of Holby. Yeah. My goodness, that is a very yeah. long time, isn't it? Mm. So when Bella was a little baby as well, you That's were right. busy working. Me too, yeah. Does she know the set and everybody inside oh. out there as well? I came back with the scar one day, because I thought she'd be interested. Oh, she was horrified. Yeah. She's really squeamish. <laughs> She, they, you came, they back, with came back with a huge scar on your face. Yeah. What Makes reaction did you think you were going to get? One, yeah. <laughs> I drove home with it covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't get stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Is and she showing any signs herself that she might like to get into, into this? She thing? has just started with, um, it's unbelievable, my drama teacher that I went to when I was seven or eight, the speech and drama classes, just locally, Isabella's just started in the same church hall with the same teacher I have. No. Nearly 30 years ago. The same the teacher. Same teacher. Yeah. Jackie Stoker, yes. No, how She's fantastic. And does, Bella, does yeah. Bella go and is she confident or is she thinking? She's oh. supremely confident, completely oh. different to how I was, which is why I went, just to gain some confidence. Isabella has loads. So did you, was it your mum that enrolled yes, you be, yeah. because you were quite shy? Very shy. You know, hated going to children's parties, wouldn't really leave her side. But I don't have that problem with Bella. No. How funny. But were you an only teacher? child? No, I have a younger brother. Oh, really? And you were still shy? Yeah. Yes, because I know that when my girls went to nursery school, the teachers went, we can tell they've got brothers, because they were uh, right in there, yeah. <laughs> mixing it. Mm. No, completely opposite. Mm. In fact, and Bella has been on her own. She's supremely confident. So. Well, my, my Steph mm -hmm. uh, was a dancing dancing class, and the girls went to... Pat Steele's dancing class, who, yeah, uh, yeah same, same person. Yeah. Same yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Yeah. Well, darling, are you ready to do some tossing? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's fun. I am. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Well, coming up, uh, it's we a are, medical uh, term. It is. Yes. yes, it is. Yes. And don't miss Hobby City, of course, no. this evening. Um, uh, flipping Perfect Pancakes uh, with Leslie Waters and uh, her more than able assistant this morning, uh, Alicia Dixon, is on the other side of the studio. Plus, Tina is staying here for a bit of a taste and she's going to. Oh, where did Alicia go? Is she she's, not. She's cha cha <laughs> off. There she is. Oh, no, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making her way over to the I thought she thought better of it and left then. <laughs> 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 we'll see you after this. <laughs>